Uh, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dizon. Uh, I'm an exchange student from the Philippines now studying here at Canada. I'm studying in the Canadian Forces College at the same time at the Royal Military College of Canada. So I'm taking up my command course and at the same time my master's degree in defense studies. Now I've been studying here for a year. I came here last year. So, well, everything here came as a shock. Nanibago ako. So, the first one is the culture. It's quite different. Uh, the next thing is the cold. It's really, really cold. <laughs> Hindi yung lamig hahanapin niya talaga kung saan papasok at lalamigin ka talaga. So, uh, yun yung mga quick observations. Now, for, for the culture, it's more, it's a different, it's a different culture compared to the Philippines. So it's a nice thing that you'd be, you experience the culture and bring it back home because there will always be uh, good points of the culture. Now, when I was here uh, or coming here, I encountered a lot of problems being here. First was it was COVID, so na deplane ako because of COVID requirements, so I needed to reschedule my flight. When I came here, I underwent 14 days quarantine wherein my 14 days quarantine was having the same food for 14 days every day so yun mga panibago dito well, during the COVID situation uh, tapos the loneliness came in I didn't have my family so being alone uh, was uh, will get to you uh, here so you'll get homesick but the upside is there are two upsides so in the in the college I have people there which are Canadians, which are internationals from the UK, the US, and Australia, and other countries from Southeast Asia, which became a family. We were there together, we were helping each other. So that was a, another uh, an upside of me being here. But another good side is the Filipino community. Having Filipinos here is a very, very good thing because they're the biggest support system that I have for the whole year. Uh, I'm walking down the street, may lalapit sa'yo, may makita sa'yo, tatanungin ka, are you Filipino? Are you from the armed forces? Why are you here? Those are the most common questions that uh, Filipinos ask. And when you say yes, uh, you can see that they're very, very proud. They take pride na mayroon silang kababayan dito na nag-aaral dito na represent yung bansa natin at representing yung ideals na at sa kultura ng Pilipinas. So, Yun ang pinaka naka ano ng puso, naka intig ng puso na yung mga Pilipino ay sama-sama buo at hindi pababayaan yung kapwa nila Pilipino, kababayan nila. So yun yung big thing na for the Filipino community here. So uh, me being here would like to take the opportunity na magpasalamat sa mga Pilipino dito kasi without you, uh, Hindi ko alam kung saan ako pupulutin kasi uh, being here and being alone is very hard. Support is very hard. Uh, support is minimal. But dahil nandyan kayo, uh, naging maayos yung isang taon ko dito. So uh, dahil doon, maraming salamat sa inyo lahat at sa mga Pilipino sa, uh, na, na, sa Pilipinas. Ay maging proud kayo sa mga Pilipino dito kasi kahit nasa ibang bansa sila ay pinapangalandakan nila ang uh, kultura natin, ang mga mitiin natin, ang mga pa palaisipan natin ng mga magaganda. At hindi nawawala yun. May makita akong mga bata dito na dito na pinanganak, pero Tagalog pa rin ang salita nila. So, uh, matutuwa ka talaga pag nandito ka. So, uh, maliban doon, maraming salamat ulit at uh, doon po nagtatapos yun. Ang salita ko ngayon, uh, salamat. Why are you in Canada and not in the U.S.? Uh, yes, sir. I think that is a question that people always ask because uh, Philippines and the U.S. is a big partner. And we have also our mutual defense treaty, which uh, affirms the partnership between the Philippines and the U.S. But the Philippines is not confining its partnership between the U.S. alone. So we have other partners in North America, which is Canada, and other partners in Europe and in also in uh, uh, other parts of the, the globe. So now... Uh, Canada has not been uh, offering this course to the Philippines for quite a while. Maybe it, it may be for political reasons or maybe it be uh, strained relations between the Philippines and Canada. But 
when Canada offered uh, this, this course to the Philippines, uh, there was no hesitancy between the, in the Philippines to send someone to represent the Philippines in uh, this command staff course. So I'm very proud to be here and I'm really, really uh, happy that I am taking the course. I took a lot from the course. I had gained uh, great contacts in in Canada, and that's what I'm bringing back home to the Philippines. And when, when I'm leaving in two weeks' time, so uh, that's very good now having those relations. And I hope we continue uh, in the in the future, sir. So that's it.